How's it going everybody? It's Haparicio and today I'm going to show you three methods to white balance your footage in DaVinci Resolve so you're never stuck on this step again. Let's get right into it. All right, so here's the image we're working with. Obviously we have a white reference. The whole thing is white. Just to show you how to use these uh, different techniques. There's a CSTN I put. This is shot on an Ari Amira. So I did a CSTN. You could see the settings here and a CST out. And then I'm just gonna be doing my corrections in between. So I did primary adjustments, easy. And then I'm gonna create another node. I'm gonna call it WB for white balance or you can call it balance. And the first method is really quick and simple. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the custom curves and we're gonna unchain the RGB uh, channels here. And then we're just gonna click on a white source or reference in the image. Let's click the wall. And then what you're gonna do is align each color here horizontally on the custom curves histogram. So let's go red. We're gonna bring the red down a little bit to align with the white. We're gonna to go to the green. The green seems to be pretty aligned already. Now let's go to the blue, bring that up so it's aligning with the others. And there you go. There's one way, let's see how it looks without it and with it. Okay, so we're just pretty much, if we come here and go to the parade, we're just pretty much aligning the RGB channels here. Maybe you can look on the scope, so let's turn it on, and it's just aligning it. Let's go on to method number two. Let's go ahead and reset our node grade. And this is gonna be working with our offset. This is my favorite, and I'm the most comfortable doing it this way. Let's expand our scopes. Oh, went onto my other screen. We can make it smaller, I think. Unreal. Unreal. Oh, there we go. All right, so we can make it a little bit smaller. We can see all four here. Cool. The first thing I'm gonna do is come here, look at my vector scope. This is what you guys wanna do. You wanna click right here and you wanna go show two times zoom. Now we can see, you know, the saturation and any uh, dominant colors here. And obviously the green and the orange and the red are dominating here. So what I'm gonna do with my offset is just kind of center this back up in the middle so it's a bit more even. So you can either grab the center point here of the offset or use the sliders for R, G, B. Okay, so obviously red up and down, green kind of diagonal across the vector scope, and then blue is side by side. I usually prefer to go ahead and just click in the middle here and move it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna first move it to the center and then I'm just gonna drag it down towards the blue and stop when I feel comfortable. I feel pretty comfortable right there. Let's see how we did. We'll go off, on, and you can see how easy that method is. It's super quick and super easy. I mean, you can see all of our channels aligned really well when we did that here in the parade. If you go back in the video, watch the parade when I'm doing this. And you can always come here to your color bars and adjust what you did slightly in the lift, the gamma, and the gain by coming to the sliders and saying, um, there's maybe a little bit too much blue in the gamma, so you could bring it down a little bit. Uh, maybe there's too much red in the lift, bring it down. These are just examples. You can definitely use these to get the results you want. That was method number two. Now let's reset the node grade. Let's go to method number three. Method number three, guys. This one's, uh, this one's a little weird. I'm gonna collapse this, just leave it here. So we're gonna come here to effects and we're gonna search for chromatic adaptation, okay? Drag it on. And what we're gonna do is right here where it says illuminant type, we're gonna drop that down, click on color temperature. As you can see, this looks like total. Sh so what you're gonna do is adjust the Kelvin until it's at a spot you feel comfortable and then go ahead and adjust your tint. So I'm gonna drag it more toward the green obviously cause it's a little too magenta. And I think I'll park it right there. So I dragged the Kelvin, obviously where it needed to be, toward the cooler range. And I dragged the tint more toward the green because it was looking a little bit too magenta. And there you go. You can see the difference. Maybe it's even still too cool and magenta. You can make it a little more uh, warm. And I would only say focus on that 
area here when you're working with chromatic adaptation. But this still isn't my preferred method. I prefer the offset the most. All right, so let's take a look at this clip. I wanted to bring you guys to a clip that didn't have a white reference, okay? So let's open our vector scope, okay? Now, if I don't have a white reference, I'm usually just gonna focus on the skin tones, all right, making sure the skin tones look the best they can. I would use the offset. So I would grab the offset, the point in the middle, and if you look here at, at your vector scope, you can see where the skin tone is, and that we just need to move it toward the magenta a little bit to get it where it needs to be. And then we can move it either towards a, a warmer or cooler tone after we do that. So let's go ahead and move it a little towards the magenta because that's what the skin needs. And then the image is a little bit too warm to be called natural. So we're just gonna bring it down toward the cooler range. Let's push it a little far and then come back because I, I need to be able to see this. And there we go. Uh, you can even go a little bit more toward the magenta. Okay, and let's go off, on, off. You know, green, achy, yellow, on. A bit more natural you remember what i was saying earlier we can come to the color bars and maybe i think there's too much green in the gain so i'm just going to pull it back slightly there we go it's all about just playing around with it until you get the corrected image you want before you start to uh, actually uh, grade so there you have it guys Thank you for watching. Go ahead and drop any questions or any other methods that you have because I know very well that I didn't cover nearly all the methods that people like to use to white balance. So anyway, see you in the next one.